All right, folks, welcome back. Just a real quick video. We've got the Eskimo 650 XD. This is our first day on the ice with it. Uh, we're about two and a half hours in a crappie fishing. It has been non-stop action. We've been hammering 15 inch crappie after 15 inch crappie after 15 inch crappie. Oh yeah, look at that right. one. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice right, knuckles. Nice. That's a good one. Nice. 15 and almost three quarters. Okay, hey, just go, nice slab. That's definitely in the 15 inch range. Gotta set this up. It's uh, pretty cold today. My daughter's behind the camera. She wants to get out of the wind. We got like 10 mile an hour winds. So we're gonna set this up for the first time and uh, see how it goes. Nice oversized bag. Be no problem getting that in. Nice wide opening on it. Strap. All right, gotta have some stakes in here somewhere. Yep, there we go, stakes. Got a nice set of anchors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine anchors. Nice heavy duty anchors. We're gonna get one of these in the ice before we start setting that up because we do have a little bit of wind whipping right now. All right, rods for the door. All right, here we go, first pop. Let's find a nice easy one, that looks good. So far, so good. Hey, folks. We are all set up. The Eskimo Outbreak 650 XD with a full walkthrough door. So far, this is an awesome shack. Set up really easy. No different than my 949i, which is quite a bit smaller, but it was just as easy of a setup. Uh, this thing has eight windows, all right about the same level here. And uh, it's just a really comfy shack. Came with these nice heavy duty tie downs. There's Mr. Joe Holland there. <laughs> I'll introduce him in a minute. Came with this uh, cam style buckle here. Just lift that up, tighten it up. Really easy, really convenient. And there's my daughter warming up. It's already warming here. It's already like 20 degrees warmer. Yeah. And uh, this is Mr. Joe Holland. What's up, guys? You guys gotta check this guy out. He uh, also has a YouTube channel, Joe Holland Fishing. Fishes all over the state of Maine. He does week-long camping trips on the ice. Just a phenomenal channel, so uh, definitely check him out. But it has a gray interior, as you can see, a couple mesh pockets. Uh, pretty basic inside, you know, this is all thermal. I didn't mention that earlier. You know, it has all these storage pockets here. These are really nice. Um, and this is actually, what, a five-sided shack? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the way these outbreaks are is uh, they're actually five sides. My 949 is four. Got some vents, which we'll open now because we're running propane. It's nice to have those when you're cooking. Yep, definitely. Yeah. And I open these anytime I'm in a shack with propane, I open them. But yeah, I mean, really pretty basic inside. I mean, the the highlight of these is these walkthrough doors. I mean, they're from, uh, phenomenal. This is actually my first time in one of these, but I can tell already that's going to be a game changer. And uh, the good thing about these Eskimos is you can sit in a chair. And you can see out these windows, no problem. Like right now we're running tip ups and uh, we can sit in a chair, see them no problem. You know, we can stand up, you know, like if we're cooking, we can look out, see them no problem. And uh, Joe actually has the, the 450. I got the 450, yep. So we fished, we fished as many as five people out of the 450. So this thing 
I mean, if you were wanted to fish tight, you could definitely fish eight. Yeah. And they're awesome. I mean, I bought mine because of that door. That yeah. was the main reason I bought it. And yep, same. This thing's got three doors. Mine only has two doors, so that's nice to have three. Yep. You know, in case uh, you got a lot of people coming and going. Yep. And that door, that door is awesome. You know, not. It's hard to fit a, a round peg in a square hole or a square oh, peg yeah. in a round hole. Definitely. So there are some pegs that go on the side here against this door. I haven't put these in yet. If I put them in later, I'll show you guys, but it's pretty simple. There's just a post that goes from here down to the bottom. It just gives it a little stability here. But yeah, pretty uh, pretty sweet shack. What do you think, Joe? I think, it's, I think it's awesome. It's way bigger than the 450, like surprisingly bigger. We'll, we'll check out the numbers. I don't know, maybe 20, 30 square foot bigger. Yeah, if yeah. I had to guess, I'd say that's what it is. Yeah. Which um, is quite a bit when you're, when you're cramped for yeah. space. But I mean, if you're into like the ice camping deal, I mean, you easily could fit two cots comfortably. Oh, yeah. If you wanted to squeeze even four in here, I bet you could still squeeze four with some mm. gear. Yeah. But obviously, just real quick, you know, it obviously has all these windows, uh, these window covers. So if you're into like the dark house stuff, you know, it gets pretty dark in here. Yeah, the only tip yeah. I have for these, so we got a flag up over there. The only tip I have for these is, is if you're putting your pegs in or when you're gonna put your pegs in, is just close this door all the way, zip it to the bottom, and then you pull these tight, both this way and that way to put your pegs in. Yep. So then your door will be good the rest of the way. Now, yep. Josh yep. had mentioned he's got the stakes for the next to the door. You have, you have poles that'll stiffen this. Yep. I rarely put mine in. If I'm on like a week long trip and it's gonna snow, I'll put them in. But for the most part, I don't, you don't even have to. The yep. shack's just really awesome the way it is yeah it seems pretty that's straight. about it i yeah. mean you bought you, you got a really nice shack yeah. here yeah i'm really pumped guys yeah the good thing with these tie downs these little pockets right here you can shove these tie downs right in and now uh, they're ready to go for the next one all right folks we're wrapping up just a real quick summary of this shack uh this shack is phenomenal this door makes all the difference in the world this door makes either of these shacks whether you're looking at the 650 the 450, or well, one of the smaller ones, uh, this door is worth every penny of these shacks. Um, I'll never have a shack minus my 949i uh, that doesn't have one of these doors. Uh, these doors are just straight up phenomenal. But uh, myself, uh, Joe, and my daughter fished in this for a couple hours. Really comfortable, more than enough room. But if you guys are looking at the 650, I uh, highly recommend it. This is a uh, heck of a shack. I know you guys won't be disappointed. You. But, you that but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, we're going to wrap it up there. Check out Joe's channel. I'll link that in the description. Uh, awesome channel. If you guys have any questions about this shack, feel free to ask. I'll try my best to answer them. We're heading to a flag. Hopefully there's a crappie on it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys soon.